welcome friends to daily ui series and today is the day 15 and the challenge is to design a toggle switch one quick note before we are moving to design let me introduce uix design academy urdu channel as i received a lot of requests from you guys especially pakistani and indians they are more interested in urdu so i decided to finally create channel and present to you guys now it is your turn to support this channel by subscribing and share the content as you guys know this requires a lot of hard work because i have to work on the client projects as i have almost 15 years of experience in the design industry so you will understand how many projects are going in my bucket list at the same time i am focusing on youtube and creating content now i decide to create another dedicated channel for the urdu user so i will also try my best to stay consistent on this channel so it's only possible if you guys support this channel by subscribing sharing the content in your community in your friend list because it is really hard to manage client work for youtube english youtube urdu and at the same time i'm planning and creating course content so soon you will get uix design full course so these are really hard goals and steps but this is only possible because of you guys so fully support this channel i will check the progress believe me these are full gem facts of figma tips and tricks so be prepared subscribe the channel and get ready for the upload soon i will provide the link in the description this is the handle at the rate uix design academy urdu and turn on this bell notification icon so soon you will receive a notification about new video uploaded on this channel now let's start and create our ui design First, I am going to select frame tool by pressing F key on the keyboard and then I am going to draw a frame. So instead of selecting presets, I am just drawing randomly. Okay, something like this. So let's start with the 400 width and 200 height. Next, quickly rename our frame. So let's type daily UI slash day 015 and the challenge is toggle switch next i am pressing shift 2 on the keyboard and to zoom to selection let's start and draw two rectangles so the first rectangle is going to be aligned to the left and top side i know my frame is 400 wide so let's use 200 for the width and 200 for the height perfect now i'm going to duplicate with the option key here we are so this is for the light mode and this is for the dark now for the each mode i have a separate color code so let's apply this for the first color code i'm going to use f2 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 now select the second color okay so for the color code i'm going to use 191919 looking perfect let's lock both layer so let's start and draw a frame for our toggle so select f key on the keyboard and click okay so for the width to use 80 for the height use 28 press option v to align vertically and align it like this and now to select color make it white for now and apply corner radius great and let's quickly rename our frame so by pressing command r and type toggle switch inside frame create another frame and this time for the width 40 for the height let's use 24 for the color 6366f1 and for the corner radius let's use 99 option vh to center line this is the first step so let's make it to the left side let's rename this frame so this is our toggle switch okay so now i need two icons so for the icons use sf symbol library you can download it from the apple site okay so apple developer site provide sf symbol library which is a huge extensive library of icons you can definitely use it and the second thing it's required sf pro ponds which is also available on the apple developer site so i have already installed the sf symbol library i can 
just type in the search sun which is for the light mode right click copy symbol and click here okay so first we need to select the text tool press t on the keyboard and click then press command v to paste press escape key and let's select sf pro now make this white so press f f f f f f make it perfect white and now press command x and paste it inside knob command v option vh center line let's copy this frame again uh, sorry this icon command c and paste it here in this frame this main frame is selected toggle switch command v okay so now this is inside in the main frame okay so option vh make it black for the opacity let's try 20 percent for now let's align it 12. now change the properties and apply some style because this is looking flat so i don't like flat more like a new morphism glass morphism effect is really i my personal favorite so let's use it okay so first i'm going to select this main frame toggle switch click on effects and this is the drop shadow we are going to use 5 5 and let's try 10 okay for the opacity let's make it 5 i think let's try 10 perfect now we are going to again apply drop shadow this time to use minus 5 minus 5 10 and make it full white let's try 100 looking perfect let's try drop shadow i don't know how is it looking but we can try it okay drop shadow will work perfect if we apply inner shadow so let's leave it white for now and let's click on effects this time i'm going to use inner shadow make y0 and for the blur let's try 10 for the opacity make it 5 and here we are going to see a slight effect if we want some more like a sharp effect let's try 10% so this is our toggle switch and which is on now i am going to duplicate i noticed that i didn't update the dark mode icon so let's delete it quickly and let's first update the icon here okay so then we have to repeat it work instead of repeating work let's select and here let's type moon so for the moon this icon is perfect so this is for the dark mode look at this looking amazing okay so now let's duplicate only center line let's zoom in and select so first let's update color so for the color i'm going to change this to zero 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 and zero black and make it 75 percent for the stroke let's turn off now and for this icon it is going to be changed with this one like a swapping effect so i'm going to swap this icon let's select both and swap it now let's align it to the right side and one more pixel so let's select both so let's make it white now i need to change the icon so for the icon let's copy this icon it will be here make it 100 percent fill okay and for the sun let's replace this make it 20 percent now let's select main frame and reduce the drop shadow of white color let's try 10 percent for now okay and let's increase the dark color to let's turn on white reduce the opacity for the white make it five percent this is looking great okay now i am going to select both icon click on components create component set i'm going to select this master component which is this one and click on this edit property icon first select mode this is going to be true this one is going to be false now let's double click and drag copy with the option key 
okay so as we can see now if we want to turn on dark mode we have to click on the switch which is working perfect look at this turn off switch light mode turn on dark mode or we can slightly make this change to dark mode now it will work perfect as you can see the dark mode is turned on click again turn off now let's test it out in practical example okay so i have already created two ui which is example ui and if you want this ui and switch component the link will be available in the description you can click on it and you will get access to these files you can use it okay so now i am going to select this component and turn off to make it light mode press command x and double click here paste to replace perfect now copy the same component click here right click paste to replace this time change the mode to dark looking perfect let's make it interactive click on prototype and select this component click here on click and make it smart animate is in is out 300 now click this one drag noodle and link it to the first one on click smart animate is in is out now let's select this first frame shift spacebar on the keyboard and here we are so let's click look at this perfect light mode dark mode okay so that's it for the today uh, we have created our toggle switch we can use it i highly recommend to practice this and create this because toggle switch is a practical element and most of the time i am personally using this in my own project so it is good practice to create it one time and use it in multiple projects so this is how you can create a library of ui component which is practical and also if you want this file which i have created the link will be available in the description you can click on it and download this source file okay that's it for the today day 15 and the challenge was to create interactive toggle switch and we have created this amazing looking switch and thank you for watching like the video subscribe the channel and also visit to the uix design academy urdu channel where you can find another tutorials on ui ux design in urdu language so see you and bye